Hello everybody, you are listening to Celebrity Management. I'm your host, Pastor Alfred. Celebrity Management is a broadcast series that briefly highlights certain portions of books that I've written as well as books that I'm currently writing that relate to celebrity management and branding. So get more information on topics covered in this series. Make sure you go to PastorAlfred.com to subscribe. That way you will get alerts and updates when there are new broadcasts like this, as well as broadcasts on a variety of different topics, including updates of books that I'll be releasing that will have more information on the topics that I will be covering. Because this series actually is just about giving insights into books that I'm currently working on or I'll work on in the future. You see, what I'm sharing with you in this broadcast series will be in even more expanded and much clearer and better details in books that will be available in the future. So make sure you go to PastorAlfred.com and subscribe. Today I'd like to tell you that your personal website should not be your personal website. It should be built for everybody. Let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 24. I'm reading from verse 3 to verse 4 using the living Bible. Any enterprise is built by wise planning, becomes strong through common sense, and profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. You see, this is very important. It tells us the formula. This is the formula for creating a successful business or enterprise. It says it is built by wise planning. It becomes strong or is maintained. It increases, you know, after it is being built, after you start it, after it has gone past that startup stage, you see, after the building process has begun, it becomes strong through common sense and profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. So you can see three stages, the path where the business is being built, the path where it becomes strong, it becomes solid, you see, and then the path where it grows, it profits wonderfully, you see. And you see, for the first step, the building stage, why is planning is needed? Planning. You see, there are a lot of people who do not believe in planning, but that is wrong. There are people who say, well, all these plans never work out, you know, that, for example, let's say you plan that at this age you will be at the university level or at this age you will be married or at this age you will have children and by this age you will have this and all of that. And people who have often planned that way have in most cases found out that their plans did not work out that way. No, that is not the reason for it to give up planning because you see, he who fails to plan plans to fail. So you must still plan. And the scripture tells us that we should not just plan, we should plan wisely. You see, you have to understand that God is the author of wisdom. So God has to be involved in your planning. God is going to make your planning wise. Don't plan on your own. You see, the plans of men come to naught. You know, man can have his own plan. You can have all the plans you want, but if God is not involved in your planning it is not solid it is fragile there is a lot of chances that things will go wrong things will not work out well you see so you have to have god involved in your planning your planning have to be wise and when your planning is wise you are starting that building process i can see planning is something that goes on in the mind you see so that is where your company starts it begins in your mind your plan begins in your mind and then you build it, you see, and it becomes strong, it becomes solid. It moves from the realm of what is in your imagination to being a physical thing and solidifies through common sense. So you can see common sense is very important. Then it says it profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. That means you must know the facts. You must keep abreast of the facts. You must always keep getting updated with all that is new regarding your industry. You see, there are a lot of people who 
do not subscribe to trade magazines of their industry. They do not keep up with news that have to do with their industry and their interests or the industry they plan to start the business in. That is sad. You see, they know all the lies that CNN and MSNBC and the rest of the news network out there wants to tell them. But they do not do their own research on what is important for their future. They do not do their own research and keep up to date with every single bit of information that goes on in the industry they are involved with. You see, the scripture is telling us here that when you do that, you will profit wonderfully. And in doing this, you would observe something, you see, because the topic of this um, broadcast is your personal website should not be your personal website. It should be built for everybody. You see, when you keep up to date with all that happens with the industry, you see, you will understand that we are now living in a day where unlike a few years ago where you could build your own personal sites, you know, before social media become became huge, you could build your own personal site. People will come to your personal site. But now we are living in a day where people do not bother to go to people's personal websites. They only go to social media sites. You see, they go to Facebook, Instagram, and all of that. They go to sites that are built for everybody. This is something that people do not understand. They call social media sites and they, they look at it as this is a separate thing. And then I should have my own sites. No, your sites should be built for everybody like the social media sites. Your sites should not be about you. When you build your personal sites, build your personal sites with the mindset of I'm competing with Facebook, I'm competing with Instagram. You see, once upon a time, that is how the internet was. You went to people's sites. You see, people went to other people's sites. You promoted your site. It is not about promoting your Instagram or promoting your Twitter or promoting your Facebook. All of that that you are doing is promoting another man's company. You are promoting another man's business. You are making him more successful. And at the end of the day, all the promoting you are doing for him, you are getting the rewards for it because he can shadow ban you whenever he wants. He can restrict your views. And even if you are not shadow banned, it is clear that, for example, Facebook, if you have 10 million followers, you see, it is only like one less than 10%. I think it's one or two percent of your 10 million followers that are actually going to see that post. Facebook wants you to pay for advertising for the people who followed you, for the remaining people who followed you, for the 99% or... 75% of people who followed you to see that post. Irrespective of the fact you may have actually paid for advertising to even get those followers from Facebook. You see? So, it is not wise to build your business in that model or to build your brand in that model because this is celebrity management. You're talking about celebrity management. You must understand that Facebook Instagram and all those other sites, they are just websites. They are not platforms for you to go on and promote your site. Your site is actually in competition with Facebook and Instagram, whether you know it or not. But the fact that you do not see them as competition is making them completely kill you. And you see yourself with 50 million followers, 20 million followers. What if something happens and Facebook goes bankrupt or Instagram goes bankrupt or Twitter goes bankrupt. What happens to your 20 million followers? It goes. You see? Or what if somebody brings a false accusation against you and in that time they delete all your profile and all that you have stacked up, you see? The mere fact that you are actually not building up your own business, you are not actually paying for your own empire to be built, you are not acting wisely. You see, the scripture that we read talks about an enterprise is built by wise planning, becomes strong through common sense, and profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. You see, by building your brand and you are referring people, you see, people are like, what is your Instagram? You see, that is why it's important for you to have your name.com. You see, your name is like your phone number. And your phone number is like your website and it should be like your email. This is now how people identify people and communicate with people. Do not be that person who is 
so happy to be telling people your Facebook. And this is something that I see with even churches and ministries. Churches love to like say, ah, follow us on Facebook. Our Facebook is facebook.com slash pastor so so and so. See something that you have to realize. Facebook shadow bans Christians. They do not like Christians. Project Veritas have done research. There was a video that came out recently by Project Veritas where they went undercover and they talked to someone, um, they talked to someone from, um, Pinterest and Pinterest made it clear that they intentionally bury Christian posts and posts that are anti-abortion. You see, so when you are actually paying TV stations to air your sermons, then on the side, you are advertising your Facebook profile or your Instagram profile or your Twitter profile. What you are actually doing is advertising and establishing a social media company that is actually against you. That is actually on a mission to see that you do not have a voice. That is actually a company that has employees that are dedicated to ensure that you don't even have any reach. So you are putting money in the devil's pocket. You are putting money in the pocket of those who are actually completely against the gospel. And are not just against the gospel, but they are actively working against the gospel. So that is what you are doing. When it's a bit better, if your name is Pastor So and So, you buy Pastor So and So dot com or something similar if um, it's already taken because it has to be something that is easy to remember. You know, people remember your name. If they can remember your name, let them add dot com to your name. If your name is Fred, buy Fred dot com. If Fred dot com is not available, buy Fred dot VIP or something. You see, so something that is easy to remember because it's now like your name. Your URL is like your name. And that is something that we follow you and you always have. My space came and went. High Five came and went. And I'm talking about um, social media companies of time past before Facebook. These companies came and went. You see? So if you have been advertising your MySpace page, that is how it has gone. Now it's the day and age of Facebook. Will you now start fresh advertising it? But what of if it was about your own website? You have always been advertising your own website. You will always have your websites. Social media companies will come and go, but you will always have your own websites. You see? Your name will always be your name. So pick something, either your name or the name of your ministry or the name of your business or the name of your company, the name of your brand. You see, it should be about that. And when you build a site, it should not be about you. Build with everybody in mind. Facebook is Facebook because it's built with everybody in mind. It is not built for Mark Zuckerberg alone to use. So when you build your own website, build it with the purpose of this is a website for everybody. So it should have the ability for other people to come to your site, create profiles, post content, and perhaps even make money. Sell products post blogs and everything else. Let that be what your site is about. It doesn't matter what um, your brand is about. Whether you're a musician or something that you may think does not have anything to do with trying to chase after being a tech magnet or a captain of industry or a relevant player in the tech industry. No. As long as you have a website, this is how your website should be. Remember we talked about... Um, profits wonderfully by keeping abreast of the facts. This is a fact. This is the day and age we are living in. Nobody goes to a personal website anymore. But people go to social media sites. Therefore, you must make your personal sites as social media as possible. You should make it for everybody. Your personal site should be a social media site. You see? It doesn't matter if now it is everybody else's content that is now at the forefront. Facebook.com belongs to Mark Zuckerberg and his company. You see, his LLC or his public uh, trailer company, you see, it belongs to him. Now it has other shareholders, but it is his property. You see, he is not at the forefront of Facebook. You do not go to Facebook.com and then the first page we see is Mark Zuckerberg and all of that. You see, so when you get out of this selfishness, you see, when you make sure that your site is not about you, but it's for everybody and it is something that people will come back to. You see, once you make people come back to it, you can put your site that is full of everything that a particular person may want. But it will never be better 
than a site that people feel it is for them. This is why Walmart lost to Amazon. Walmart should not have lost to Amazon, but Walmart was following the old system. So when they went online, they were still doing how they do. But Amazon opened its doors. So Amazon is for everybody. When you go to Amazon, do you see Jeff Bezos face his blog post and whatever he wants to say to you? No. When you go to Microsoft.com, do you see Bill Gates face and what he wants to offer to you? No. You see, it is a site that is built to everybody. What you want is there. That is what will bring people to the site. Amazon won against Walmart because it opened its doors. Anybody can go on Amazon and sell. It opened its doors to other retailers. You see. So Amazon is actually like a channel for every retailer in the world or anybody in their bedroom who has something to sell to sell but walmart followed the old system of we also sell what is in our store online that is why they could not beat amazon amazon was built amazon.com was built for everybody walmart.com till today is not built for everybody you see it is just a matter of they the company and the customers they hope to attract and that is where the problem lies you see the whole system has changed this is not the way the internet was before people cared about other people's websites you can see a celebrity may have 50 million followers on instagram or something every post that they make could get something like 2 million likes but their own personal website is getting only half a million visits per month Yet, only one post per day is getting 2 million, 3 million views on another man's site. There's also the topic of how are you sure that those views, especially at the beginning periods of those companies, how are you sure those views are, are real and are authentic? You see, how are you sure? I know that when Blogspot started Blogger, they faked a lot of stats. Even WordPress, um, right now, if you start a wordpress site this first count of subscribers if you use the subscriber we get it shows like 20 subscribers before you have even started posting anything before anybody even knows that that website exists so when you see that two million people three million people are following you or like you how are you sure those are real human beings but you see it is all these things that is boosting the reputation and why people are always continually going to such sites you know it has been said that um, um, the concept of fake it till you make it you see that kind of thing will actually make and inspire more people to focus on posting on their on social media sites which is not their site so they are actually helping other people get rich you can be the wise one who builds your own sites to be a social media site you build your own personal site to not be your personal site but to be built for everybody so everybody can come post get likes and get views and they come there they feel it is their own they feel this is my place you see that is the model now if you are building a website you see there is no retail online business or even offline business that goes online that we follow the model of not being a marketplace and allowing other people to buy and sell like if it is their own sites and allowing other people to make money no matter where they are in the world from their own sites there is no business that would actually succeed in that field without using that marketplace model you see if you own a retail business and you go online if somebody else goes online in your area or doesn't even have to be in your area but it's offering the same kind of goods or just opens it up anybody can come including you yourself to create a profile on their site and sell and make money have money being sent to your bank account and you you get goods you see that is what alibaba did that is what so many other companies did you see when you build a site it has to be for everybody not for you those days of personal sites being personal sites or any website being about the owner of the site is done for you see you will not get any views even if that person is a super celebrity the super celebrities in the world that are getting lots of views it is on 
social media sites and how they even show that those views are even human but they are still so excited about it but what they do not know is that now that they have a platform now that they have a name that people still care about it is in their best interest if a celebrity because a lot of these celebrities like musicians and actors and models they are celebrity who would last for a year or two sometimes it may last for 10 years if they are fortunate but you see it will always run out the number one celebrity in the world today was not it's not the same person that was the number one celebrity in the world five years ago three years ago ten years ago you know all these things change so now that you have that platform you should actually be dragging people to your website even if the percentage of people that are coming to your own personal site is like 90 percent less than other social media sites drag them to your site and make your own site a social media site even if it is your name it doesn't have to be a name of a social media company like you add something friends or you try to start a facebook s type of site or try to get that kind of name that means that this is a social media site it can still be your name if your name is angelica it can still be angelica angelica.com and then it is a social media site but yes it is your personal site but it is not about you it is built for everybody so that is the way the world has changed and that is the way the internet has changed so there is something that i should take note of and make the necessary changes so that is it for today there is so much to be said about this for you to get that you have to subscribe to pastoralfred.com so that way when a book comes out that i talk about this in better and clearer detail you can actually get it so go to pastoralfred.com and subscribe also if you are listening to this broadcast and you've not given your life to christ i would like you to go to pastoralfred.com and click on the salvation prayer link in the main menu when you do that a page will come out that has a prayer of salvation i would like you to say that prayer and become a believer in christ also join the family the family is a christian fellowship that i founded it's an online based fellowship so it doesn't matter where you are in the world you have fellowship once a week and the materials and the details will be sent to you so it is important that you join you know it is good that you actually join a fellowship or a christian ministry or church that is in line or in the same place with where you receive christ from it is actually advantageous it's not compulsory but it is advantageous so that you will not find yourself in a place that um is not bible based or is a place that actually would end up leading you away from christianity or from the faith you see that's what god has started to do in your life continue in that same place so when you give your life to christ thanks to pastor alfred.com also join the fellowship that is from the founder of pastor alfred.com you see so the details are there once again thank you and god bless you have a nice day